Edward Iskandarian, and uh, he back in school days they shortened my name to Isky, uh, which is kind of stuck. And uh, I was I, I saw my first hot rod when I was 12 years old. That was about 1933 or four. And I said, "Wow, that looks like real fun." Uh, and driving in an open Model T uh, okay. car that's been stripped down and made into sort of a racing car, and it's used on the street. One or two guys riding in it, and uh, that's when I got hooked. Uh, what could be more fun than that? In those days, uh, if someone did go fast, they'd want to know what, uh, what cam was in that car. We used to be a Winfield cam, and it, uh, that was the mysterious thing as the, as the camshaft. And I got to meet uh, Ed Winfield when I went to, to, had to have a special cam made. And I was lucky enough to be invited back in the shop to see how the cam grinding machine he had built. And I was fascinated by it. And uh, so I went on and built, that, built out my car. Of course, at, at first we had carted kind of junky cars, not, and as we learned a little more, we built a little better car and, and learned, more, learned from the older fellas because uh, we didn't have anything to read and we learned from older guys, five or 10 years older than us. And right in my neighborhood, I was lucky that uh, two fellas from the Bung Holders Club lived right nearby and they gave me a lot of advice and t they took me up to the dry lakes for the first time. It was very exciting to see cars from all over California. Maybe a hundred cars would uh, make uh, time trials for top speed only. You got uh, oh, George yeah. Hurst. There you are. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. You recognize that guy? Bill <laughs> Wyman was the one that said, you know, we ought to have a, a show. I said, really, us have a show? Would anybody come to that?